So it's going to be very spring forward with some pee as well as gin and gin and pee and a Pacific Northwest spirit called Flora. Enjoy. So this course is focusing all on asparagus. It's a progression course. First course here, it's uh, raw diced asparagus. Here you have a melon vinegar uh, foam on top. It's a Tuluma Farmstead whey jelly. And then we have a honeycomb coming from Marshall's Farm. Instead, pretty. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Because it's coming from a mom. For me? For me. Nothing is good. Now, where do I go to get food? We have a Second dish in the asparagus progression is lightly grilled asparagus uh, with hazelnut, kumquats that have been fermented with Marshall's Farm honey, uh, and a chilled broth uh, in the style of like a Cuban mojo. So uh, sour orange, garlic, tons of chili, and then clarified uh, with um, sea leaves. Sea leaves. What we have next is we're calling a little doobie. It is a asparagus that is niximalized in ash and then wrapped in miner's lettuce as well as finished in a sourdough miso. Sourdough miso starter is brought to us from our friends over across the street at Tartine. Go ahead and put your doobie out in this ashtray. The ashtray is uh, made in a daikon radish grabbage. Enjoy. Can I share the bills with you? I was like, 
called uh, the egg hunt um, so basically I had a really giant uh, dysfunctional family uh, but we like knew how to party and do holidays really well uh, and one of my favorite things as a kid uh, was going for the Easter egg hunts out in the park in South Texas it was always very beautiful and sunny um, and so this is just kind of uh, a reference to that uh, there are quail eggs uh, that have been dyed uh, with uh, beets uh, and hibiscus uh, and then at the bottom there's a sauce made from soy milk that's been coagulated uh, with uh, bergamot orange that was fermented in Marshall's Farm honey a little, little bit of oil made from smoked sea lettuces uh, and then various first blooms of the season uh, some fresh some dry some salted uh, and then uh, some of the beet tops that have just been dehydrated over the hearth to kind of get that crispy earthy running through the forest crunching on the branches feel uh, and the idea is crack the egg open uh, and mix it all with that sauce on the bottom. But also, I'm like, we're only here. Really? This is 
our caviar course. And then I'll be draping over it a sauce made from harbison, which is a cow's milk cheese that comes from Vermont. Somewhere between a uh, cross of pancake, dumpling, and bread with golden ostrich caviar uh, from Tsar Nikolai. This is the reserve that's draped over the top and then miner's lettuce, uh, like garnish. I have to do some ball towels to crush them out with the four dollars plus. I think that we would have a well. No, I know. I don't need a But my next girl will be in the fall. I mean, I don't need to talk about it, but the name is not enough. So silken tofu is the first step in any tofu making process uh, where you coagulate the soy milk with uh, calcium sulfate. Uh, so this is soy milk from Kodo um, that we really, really love. Uh, and then um, we have uh, an exo made with shiitake mushroom and Buddhist hand citra, a little bit of dark soy and then fragrant chili oil. But me and me. So the final savory course, uh, uh, we have uh, right some plate There are a lot of other uh, 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 This is Coda Farms organic uh, 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 rice, which is a northern California rice uh, farm. Uh, uh, we have uh, carrot juice that we reduced by about two thirds from Star Out Farms. Uh, then we have the tops that have been grilled and fermented. Uh, so fried uh, garlic and candied peanuts. Um, and then various spring herbs uh, from my friend Andy at Akita Farms. Should we do that? Isn't that um, to go with this, um, I'm from South Texas, and so um, I had a mix of like um, hunting uh, as well as like, we were kind of poor, so we would hunt, and then we would have things like rice aroni. Um, and so this is like my ideal if like if the rice aroni was different and uh, the things we were eating. Uh, kind of for our springtime barbecues were different. What would it be like? Uh, what would it be like in a melting pot like you know, San Francisco? Uh, so to go with this on the top of your plate, on the little black plate, uh, that is uh, a lion's mane mushroom that's been smoked and then brined in a like an hour brown sugar and then grilled uh, and placed with a barbecue sauce made from jewel dates, black and roasted garlic. Next to that is kind of a potato salad of new potatoes, Tajasco olives, uh, there's uh, distilled white vinegar, uh, leek skates, uh, as well as Yilacoche um, that we fermented and dried last year. And finally, uh, my business partner is Korean, and in Texas you never have a barbecue without coleslaw, so this is some white vinegar to honor both of our upbringings. I don't know if it's me. Yeah. Uh, first season, uh, farms. Uh, and then because, like I said, uh, we, we grew up eating like 
I mean, except like, you know, it's just, that's pieces, what I've been and then things out of boxes. Uh, we thought of this as kind of like a rice around style. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, this is a uh, verbal that we made um, you know with fragrant chili oil. Well, for a while, like, I really thought that I, I thought it was me. But it took me a long time to realize that it's not me. That like, I just need to focus on myself. Are we vibing Not the cowboy. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to hear it. That's what we're writing. What? Yes. Are we writing? Yes. Are we writing? Yes. Are we writing? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, what are we writing? So, it looks like they're talking to me. Are we vibing Yes. Are we writing? Yes. Are we potato donut uh, that's filled with an avocado pastry cream and glazed with a maple glaze with some spruce tips. Enjoy. I was giving you such compliments. anyone really stuck on this door that made me hungry. I guess it's just relaxed. You know, it's angry. She's got you. That's awesome. I started laughing so hard the woman next to me was like, oh. I'll hold it. 